Hello everybody. Today we will learn how to draw projection of lines. Now, in our last video, we have observed what is orthographic projection. Now, if I have to draw any line problem, let us take example, this is horizontal plane, this is vertical plane and this is the line which is kept at some distance from the horizontal plane and from the vertical plane. Now we will see how the distances from horizontal plane must and should be drawn. Like now the line is on the horizontal plane. I am lifting it from the horizontal plane. So whatever distance we have from the horizontal plane is observed in the front view. So it is mentioned like this. The line end point A, this is end point B. So end point A is 20 mm above HP. So whatever distance above HP is always observed in the front view. For example, line AB having 20 mm above HP. So looking at the front, the 20 mm above distance must and should be drawn above the XY line. Now what about the distances from VP? So the line end point A is 40 mm in front of VP. So the distances in front of VP are observed in the top view that is below the XY line like this. If we turn the page, we'll draw the sketch and we'll check how it is drawn. So here we have a line. Now the distance above HP is reflected here. So I'll be making one line here like this and distance in front of VP is drawn on the top view so I'll be making the top view here and when I open it you can check the distance above HP is drawn above XY line and distance in front of VP is drawn below XY line so we have one line with us that the distance above HP should be drawn above XY line and the distance in front of VP should be drawn below XY line. So we'll try to draw a problem. This is known as type number one line parallel to HP and VP. So we have VP and floor as HP. So this is the condition where the line is parallel to HP and VP. How to draw it? Draw XY line and this is length of line let us say I write the data line AB having length 100 mm 10 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP So what I have to do? Above HP means above XY line. So above XY line I will be making one faint line at 10 mm. And 20 mm in front of VP means 20 mm in front of VP I will be making line. Now I will be making first end point A dash. Now the front view is always represented with a dash symbol with a small letter. A dash is the start point of the front view. And at 100 mm I will be locating B dash that is end point of line AB in the front view. So this is known as elevation length EA. Now from B dash I will be taking the projection for the top view. So this will be the top view or plan of the line. I will be making this segment also dark. So this will be the plan length of line. This is point A and B. Top view is represented using small letters. A and B. Front view is represented with a small letter but having dash symbol. So this is known as elevation length EL and plan length PL. Now when the line is parallel to both VP and HP, we are getting the true length of line in the front view as well as in the top view. So this is case number one. Now we will be studying case number two. In case number 2, the line is parallel to VP and inclined to 
HP. Now let us take an example. For example, we have like, now this is the line. It is parallel to both HP and BP. But now it is inclined to HP. Now if it is inclined to HP, by observing the front view, the true length and the true inclination can be observed in the front view. But what about the top view? Top view will be a shortened length. So how to put it on paper? How to draw it using steps? Very first step, I will be, very first we will draw the XY line. XY line first. What is the data? Let us say name of the line is PQ having 80 mm length, distances 15 mm above HP, 10 mm in front of VP. How to draw it? And Inclined at 30 degree to HP. Now the HP inclination is denoted by symbol theta. So theta is 30 degree. How to draw the solution for this problem? So at 15 mm I will be making a thin line. At 10 mm I will be making one more thin line. And I will be starting with some point. And here I will be noting this as P dash starting of the front view. At 80 mm, I will be having the marking Q dash, small q dash and this is the top view P and Q. So we will make it dark, we will make the front view and top view. Now the first step while making such a problem, in first step we have to assume that the line is parallel to both the reference plane. Now we will go for the inclination. How to draw the inclination? So have this much distance in the rounder. Very first what I have to do that if the line is inclined at 30 degree angle I have to mark at 30 degree. So at 30 degree I will be making a line at 30 degree or thin line. Using a thin line I will be marking here. Now, we will have the same distance in the rounder and we will cut the arc. We will give the arrow that we have turned it and now what we will be doing? Now, if we imagine, we will make it dark. We will make this line as thick line. So, if we observe, the true length remains same in the front view. So I mark this as either true length or elevation length. Now how to draw the top view of it? Orthographic projection is nothing but taking the projection down. So here I am getting, suppose this is Q1 dash. I am getting Q1 here. So this particular segment is known as plan length PL and this is elevation length EL. And this is angle theta is equal to 30 degree. So this is the way to draw line inclined to HP and parallel to the vertical.